Welcome back to BYU Sports Station. We are live in Studio B in the Cougar Council Room alongside Jerem Jordan. I'm Spencer Linton. Let Let's us welcome counsel in. one with another. Let, let us counsel let with us the counsel. great Richie Saunders. All of his superpowers are with us here in Studio B. Richie, <laughs> what up, Richie? welcome. Hey, happy to be here. All right, we heard a quote from one of your teammates who said his superpower is clearly his motor. Where does the drive and your motor and the energy for said motor come from, Richie? A headband. No, um, <laughs> no, I mean, in a real note, my parents, they taught me how to work. Um, and, like, I've been asked that question through the years, right? And I don't have a great answer, but a couple of things, like, that's, that's my parents. They somehow got me to really buy into working hard and um, as well as my mission. Honestly, like, just that daily grind, like, I feel like as I've looked back on it, like, I can clearly, like, contribute a lot of my basketball to that. Mm. That's that's one of the many advantages of a mission. It's, <laughs> it's a, true, yeah. It's a disadvantage physically, but it's an advantage in what you get, like who you become, right? And it's a thing you yeah. can control. Like sometimes your shot's not going down or your feet aren't moving the way you want, but effort's always there. Okay, you played an exhibition game in front of 16,000 fans, by the way, last week. What did you learn about the squad after that 40 minutes? Um, you know, I I think it was really good. Like we, need, we needed that, <laughs> right? Like... Um, we have a lot of talent on this team, and we have a lot of room to grow into um, things that we've had to really work on the last few days preparing for tomorrow's game. But learn that we just have um, really talented people on that court, and I'm excited to have it come together more, like as, as it will. The first play lob is a thing that we've seen in the blue and white and the <laughs> exhibition. That's kind of fun. Yeah, I don't even know if it's scripted either. It just happens. <laughs> you just throw that thing up and they're going to go get it, you know? Back in the day with the Jazz, do you remember this? It was always like a back pick for Adam Keefe. And Absolutely. Get a like every first play of the game. I like the way this is going. Yeah. Jerry Sloan special for yes. the Jazz. This yes. is maybe the Kevin Young special. When's the lob being drawn up for Richie Saunders? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> let's send Richie off a back pick. Yeah, and let's do it. Come on, let's set a screen for this man. Okay, you said you you were able to isolate in on some things that you, you need to work on after the exhibition. So let's talk specifically about yeah. that. What are those things that you felt like you needed to work on? Yeah, I mean, as a team collectively, like, um, we really worked very, um, just with a lot of focus on, like, our second line of defense. We call the shifts. Um you're a hockey team now. I like it. Yeah, I, I, I'm not a big hockey. Yeah, but I, I, we need to learn. I need to learn. Hockey to yeah. Let's go. Um, but, this in the peel switch defense. Yeah, yeah. Um, but meaning, like, say you're on the ball. I'm your help defender. Um, just really working with my positioning, mm. um, as well as um, really hitting first and um, like showing our physicality from the jump, um, and you know just. Or overall, or overall taking care of the ball, um, things that we can control. All, all of those things um, were like clear flags mm. for us as a team, and it's just so good to play against other people because you don't see these as much when you're playing against each other in practice every day for the last six months, right? But like now that we're against other people, like um, it's cool how it, it just like comes up, um, and then we can address them as we have and as you'll see tomorrow. <laughs> Which is fun because when you guys play against each other, the offense knows the defensive exactly. scheme and what plays coming, and that's hard, right? Now you play Central Arkansas tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So besides winning, what's the goal in the season opener tomorrow night? I mean, I think a big one is to improve on those things from last game. Um, the O board, the or I guess the defensive board, the shift, second line of defense, and um, I mean just defense as a whole and taking care of the ball. Um, but you know, this is a this is a journey, and it's a lot of new guys, and um, like I'm excited to really start this thing because, again, like it takes a little bit for all the pieces to like really understand each other, and like I just hope that we can take a step up uh, moving forward tomorrow. Your teammates and your coaches have pointed out that you have taken a significant step forward in your role and your production. And your performance in the secret scrimmage also has become a thing. But what can you tell us about where you feel like you have improved the most and how Kevin Young has helped you get better as a basketball player? Yeah, you know, like, um, I feel like he's really, like, helped me to raise my sights of who I can be as a basketball player. Mm. You know, like, he's um, he's been around some of the greatest players to ever play the game. And um, it's been cool to... Um, 
to like kind of raise my sights a little bit for my just basketball as a whole and who I can be. Um, he's really challenged me on this defensive end um, as well as just like being in control and just doing the things that I do, not trying to be somebody else, but doing what I do. Um, and yeah, you know, like I'm, it's, it's been really, it's been fun. It's been cool. Last year, uh, Evan Mayakawa uh, came up with this uh, metric called the Bayesian performance rating. You led BYU. It was a five-point something. It was really good. It was the best on BYU's team since Yoli Childs. You impact every facet of the game. Does your role change at all, whether you're a starter or a bench player? Because it sounds like the way you're playing, you probably will be in the starting lineup. Uh, I mean, like, it's just a matter of whoever's on the court first or second or whatever. Like, it's just a matter of doing the things that we need to do. Um, and... You know, like, I don't think it necessarily changes for me. Like, I'm going to come and I'm going to play as hard as I can and uh, play as smart as I can and for the time that I'm given, whether, however that is. And hope that's the mentality for everybody on our team. And, you know, because it is like a little battle of like, well, like, I mean, I went through it for the last few years, right? Um, but, you know, like, as we really just, like, put that away of like, oh, I'm starting or I'm not, right? Like, just playing just hooping um, and just getting down to again what doing what we personally do to help the collective team for those that haven't seen BYU play and again those that have been in the Marriott Center to watch the blue and white scrimmage and the exhibition have seen a little bit but for those who have not seen this version of BYU basketball play yet how would you explain your style and how this team plays basketball yeah I I think it's fast it's fast and it's not so much about running a specific play, it's about using that play to get a bucket or like um, like in transition we have some uh, some great plays and stuff that we just flow into and it's not so much of um, just being robots and running the play but it's like we're gonna go get a bucket and if this play gets us that bucket then it's, it's great, you know. But, uh, and I should say like um, just we, we are trying and are building our identity on moving this ball um, and like making the extra pass and um, something that sh people should expect. People are excited about obviously the uh, you know getting a, a would-be NBA head coach as the head coach of BYU. The strength and conditioning, uh, the mental strength, all NBA influenced, which is pretty wild. On the court, where are you seeing sort of that NBA influence? And maybe you just mentioned it in terms of like, no, we get up and we have a system, but we're not like tied to that yeah. exact play. No, I, I think that's that's the big thing. Mm. Um, a lot of what we do is like, okay, that didn't work. So then what? What are we going to do next? And which is funny because I didn't notice it until I was in the system and doing it. But now that I watch NBA games, I'm like, oh my goodness, like, <laughs> oh yeah, I just did that yesterday. You know, like, um, it's just the mentality of. Is what's next, what's next, what's next? It's um, like that didn't work, so what are we going to do? NBA boot camp in Provo, Utah. Yeah. I, I love it. I Heck love to yeah. see the T-shirts that say Provo Bo. as well. I yep. think that's well played. <laughs> that's awesome. uh, we'll finish with this. How's your headband game going to evolve this season, Rich? Are you going to go matching with the uniform? You're going to you're going to mix and match the colors. Is there a lucky headband? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wear those headbands too much, so the lucky aspect is. I got. I gotta make sure all of them are lucky. But um, no, I mean, uh, the, the refs make sure that everything's coordinated. So <laughs> they take away a lot of the creativity, which I'm appealing for. I'm trying. I'm trying to um, get the ref to change this this rules. But no, I'm, <laughs> good luck I'm, with that. Yeah, I'm just excited to to hoop and um, to be back and to do this thing. I look forward to a neon green headband at some point. Yeah. <laughs> the refs will be like, <laughs> I would be out of the game really quick. Uh, Richie, great to have you. Thanks, with Richie. Us. Thank you. Good to be here.